Greetings my BJJ homies. Small public service announcement. I hereby present the winners of my 2018 World's Bracket Prediction Contest. Congratulations and I will be in touch shortly about your prizes. Speaking of the Worlds, one of my patrons asked me to comment on a match Keenan had this weekend. He was asking me if Keenan was robbed or perhaps a victim of incompetent refereeing. After carefully reviewing the evidence, my conclusion is that Keenan is lucky he wasn't disqualified, or possibly suspended for bringing the IBJJF into disrepute. Studying the footage, here we can see that as he leaves the mats, Keenan waves his finger at the IBJJF logo printed on the mats. Slow motion confirms this dastardly act. Given how strict the IBJJF is at disrespectful displays after a match is over, Keenan should thank his lucky stars he was not immediately sanctioned. For those that doubt my film study ability. Fine. Let's go over this in detail. The so-called controversy stems from when his opponent, Patrick Gaudio, is in Keenan's guard with 15 seconds to go. Note that by this time, Keenan is up two advantages to one, all points being equal. Now Patrick drops for a footlock. This doesn't get the tap and Keenan stands up for the sweep. Now this typically would result in two points. But time runs out. So here is where people are getting butthurt. After the bell. The referee awards Patrick an advantage for the submission attempt, thus tying the score, and bringing things to a referee decision. Keenan then goes on to lose the referee decision, with many arguing he should have gotten the win for securing back hooks earlier on. So here is my message to all you internet referees. Things are fluid in a BJJ competition, and no situation is exactly the same. It's not like something like this has ever happened before, which the referees could have studied as a precedent. Like for example in this situation, which happened in the semi-finals between Victor Estima and Leandro Lowe in 2014. Here with 17 seconds to go, Victor is in Leandro Lowe's guard. Note that both of them have one advantage each. Now exactly like in the Keenan situation, Victor drops for an identical footlock. Now like in the last example, Leandro Lowe comes up for a sweep in response. However, as the submission is on, no points are awarded to him and time runs out. According to the script, after the bell has rung, the referee awards an advantage to Victor, for the submission attempt. All good so far. But in this situation, the referee goes on to also award Leandro Lowe an advantage for the almost sweep. Now, as you can see from the scoreboard, they end the match with an extra advantage each. Now to the average lay person. This seems like damning evidence that Keenan got done wrong. But many forget there are several distinguishing factors at play. For example, there were 17 seconds to go in Lowe's match, but 15 seconds to go in Keenan's. Also, in this match Leandro Lowe was so far ahead, who cares if he got an extra advantage? Heck, the reason this happened could have been because it involved two Brazilians. There are so many possible reasons as to why two seemingly identical situations, resulted in no advantage being given to Keenan at the end. Since I'm here throwing Keenan under the bus, I might as well add more fuel to the fire. Fair warning folks. If you listen to this guy, you risk potentially getting disqualified doing some of his moves. Take this one for example. And I'm trying to use my shoulder to tilt his foot in and down. And then having this hook here is allowing me to control the leg here if I'm set, like bending his foot forward as I put the pressure on the Achilles. Yeah. It's like a straight ankle. Yeah. This one tighter one. Mm -hmm. yeah. Here Keenan is proposing an alternative grip to do a straight foot lock. However by his own admission, it might be construed as a heel hook. The only thing I'm worried about is if I go for it, I don't want people to think it's a heel hook. Right. Like, I don't want refs to think it's a heel hook. It's really not. Now here is where the problem starts. According to him, if you get called for a heel hook here, you can explain it away with the refs, who will clearly see that there is no heel hook pressure at all. If you ever get to get DQ'd like that and you show the ref, like, look, it's not, like, feel it yourself, it's not, it doesn't attack the knee, they, they'll revoke their DQ. Now look at this guy, who decided to take a page out of Keenan's book. Here he is going for a gable grip straight footlock. Note that his knee is on the inside, and Lowe is not getting reaped. This is clearly a straight footlock and not a heel hook. Instead he is disqualified. Where was that opportunity to explain your case to the ref, Keenan? If this had been you, and you had been disqualified, would you have done this again? In conclusion, I am only left with more questions rather than answers. Unfortunately for my patron who prompted this study, while my eyes in previous situations might tell me one thing, how a referee's discretion is exercised, 
could be due to other unknown factors. Oh well. Better luck next time Keenan. Till next time folks.